them on. Badam, badam. After we put for you, then we you come turn your back on. Badam, badam. Then you send the police, we come shoot with one one. Badam, badam. I will if I innocent you to put from your lost feet on. Badam, badam. And when you know fix the route, it's never overload. You take with money. Lodge it in a half swore bank or to you. Sleep last night. Close up, they'll not get no. Sleep last night. Big boat, I don't get no. Sleep last night. Them conscience has us on a bar. Little shot, I don't get no. Sleep last night. Politician, I don't get no. Sleep last night. Check it out. Nobody ever see don't pan the keys to nuclear weapon. Nobody ever contribute to the moon and destruction. Bloody city, it's a pity, Kelly City, Ethiopian. Lion of two that no carry class, nor fang eye. Them turn a blind eye to we cry. Then send them subs, them come in here, yeah. Come brutalize, intimidate, and say them run the corner. But I laugh at the fool's blunder. Can no wind count, stand in one reflection, conscience taking over. Oh, you sleep last night. Big water, no get no sleep last night. Blue so bell, I no get no sleep last night. Them conscience has us on a bar. Nick push up, I no get no sleep last night. Corrupt police, man, no get no sleep last night. Check it out. No more run on television, not that they say it. First thing, them the wrong, them no yell the king. Blood that shed, red that beg them jellificating. Them no care to feel majority that is suffering. Them invest in the West and that judgment it bring. Build up them concrete jungle and reject the farming. No, Through them no, no. and the poor it really hurting. Then just a scuff and a scan and a show no caring. But how you sleep last night? Close up the land and get now. Sleep last night. Hey, let me jump in and say good afternoon to all of Trinidad and Tobago. I just feel like changing up the vibe a little bit this afternoon as we kick off our one number one right in the street 919 fm of course yes tc i'm in the building heavy duty is going to be here in a short short so don't worry yourself we are here we are here just taking in a good vibe on a good friday turn a blind eye to we cry then send them socks them from india come brutalize intimidate and say them run the corner but i laugh at the fool's blunder can no him can stand him one reflection can't chance taking over i know you sleep last night blow so well i don't get no sleep last night big quote i don't get no sleep last night them can't chance that And of course, don't think I'm not going to be taking a phone calls. I'm going to be taking a phone calls. You can call me up. Say good afternoon as well. Benton Hour is still here, yeah? Tell me how come you're in Jamaica so many people still have my rascal. Tell me how come. 342 That's the number. 342 and 466-5391. Call me up. Let me know how you're feeling today on this good Friday. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon, TC. Boy, I just sent you where that boy is. That was my partner. Where is that one? Where is that one? Where is that one? Where is that one? I love the love to everybody. Love and respect, man. Hey, heavy. Where's that by your stuff? Good afternoon to you. And keep the music blazing, my dog, bro. You dig? All right, you dig. Love, 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 Panadol. Go on, Go on, Panadol. Go on. Don't know. Let us take a look around. Afternoon to Southland in the building. What's up, Southland? Tell me how come you're in Jamaica, so many people still 
Good afternoon, good afternoon, going out to my Regin. What's going on, Regin? Good, good afternoon, TC. Good afternoon, every give thanks to life. Give thanks to life. Man. Land that live in. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a blessed love. Uh, I had breaking news yesterday. I feel like I look call and listen and, and get interviewed to me you now. I had a worship program. The minister went down there with 12, 12 food care and not, none have no money on it. You know, Tuesday gone there. <laughs> Tuesday gone? Well, yeah, if, if, okay, so, okay, okay. if so, Anderson will let us know, I'm telling you. If so, Anderson will make sure and call us and let us know. Food carry, right. no, well, that, that food carry, no, that's is nothing new, you know. That happened for the Christmas as well. You understand? Uh, and, yeah, man. I see a plane, I see a plane, actually, I play a phantom, was that for me, but mama hungry. Hungry? Papa hungry. Hungry days? Brother hungry. Hungry days, I'll find yeah, that love. for you, all right? Yeah. Yeah, man, love and respect. Love and respect, man. Every love. Yeah, man. People of the Prime Minister, tell me how come those power don't seem to care. It's cause life is so unfair. In this sweet paradise, this is what we swear. Out of many what people, can you see us see that anywhere? Everyone. Hi, good afternoon, caller. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon, second time caller. Second time Happy caller. Good Friday. Yeah, I hope you beat the bubbly this morning. I, now, well, 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 boy, the bubbly didn't pass <laughs> by me. <laughs> even okay. the bubbly, even All the right, bubbly yeah. stay inside today. <laughs> no, not that bubbly. That's how one does. The yeah. are bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know. I, right. I know. Good you Friday. Mean. I know Good Friday, we normally build the bubbly and, and, and have it drag it all over the yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that happening yeah, this yeah. morning in your area? Yeah, yeah in Grandi, it happened, man. It happened. Right. Nice, man. Nice to keep up the tradition, man. Yeah, yeah what happened? Yeah, tell me. The, um, the, the, the thing concerning Anderson, what he said, right? You see that on Wall Street program, though? Serious? Yeah. Right? yeah. He said you, yeah, you say will call it over the um, food card. Mm hmm. Twelve of them, twelve of them was an expired food card. I think Heinz went down in the beat time yesterday and um, gave it out, but all expired. All the food card expired? All the food card expired. That really sad. That really, yeah, yeah. really I hear sad. That on next, I hear that on the next program, too. I hear that on Wall Street and I hear this morning and now I, I fell out no call in here and tell you. Yeah, so yeah. It's um, KFC, KFC really said that this, um, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. He heard that from, um, he heard that from this boy, Anderson. Anderson. Well, maybe, also, maybe also Anderson. On Wall Street program. Maybe Anderson will call us and um, update us, all right? Yeah, he said he will call you. All right. All right, nice man. Thanks, yeah, man. Heavy duty, what going on? Heavy duty. Good, good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. Happy Good Friday, Trinidad and Tobago. Happy Holy Weekend. Welcome to the tr Future of Talk. What is what I was talking about? No, I, I just play a little two tune there just I now. Been, some yeah, and I said, I, I wanted to, I, well, 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 I like where, where somebody, the conversation kind of went just now. It didn't go political, really. Yeah. They were speaking about the food card, and then um, the, the, this, this caller just now was um, was asking about the, the, the traditional Good Friday boboli. You know, we used to build it, we used to stuff our boboli a long time and drag it all over the place. You see anybody be the boboli this one? And they used to name the Boboli, eh? <laughs> you know that, right? They used to name the Boboli, every, 
Anybody that gained trouble in Trinidad yeah. end up with that Boboli name yeah. already. Yeah. Yep, yep. You understand? So they used but to name the Boboli. You know, long time you can go on the beach on a big fr on a good on Friday. On a Friday, yeah, why? Go, they used to say, they used to say you're going to the beach with turn fish. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, you hear that when I was younger. So wait now, they, that, 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 that is what they used to put in the youth head. Yeah, yeah. Go go on the beach, you're bathing good Friday, you got to turn to fish. We were speaking about those kind of myths long time that they had us believe in. Mm -hmm. Right? Like... Don't go out after that, could have a, a phantom, a tall, tall man, he does stretch his leg across the street. <laughs> Are you that kind of? Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. And all different kind of foolishness to keep you inside. Mm -hmm. Well, boy, don't go on the beach. <laughs> well, we, we have the armor, um, cast some meal tip coming up heavy. Yep. But let me take one quick one before we arm. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to take one quick one. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome. My movie is the Russian party, right? Um... Heavy good afternoon. I see you now coming to the street line one on my bum. Yeah, Welcome to our radio station. Heavy? Yes. Thank you. I love you very, very much. Um, Russian Paris is my bubbly for 2024. Hey, TT, don't get into big people business. Say I go on this. Love, love, love to you guys. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Panadol. Hey, all right, case, all right, yeah. Panadol. Cool. Bless him. Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I want to tell you all. Do dispute the phantom story. Eh? When after the break, right. I'll call you back. Right. Call us and tell us about that phantom story. I want to hear about that. Sure, sure. I, I will right. tell you. After the break. All right. After the break. After the break. Call us back. Let me take. Let me take in a little piece of this head to the break, heavy. Cause this is a very, very good show. Very, very is making fasting easy and tasty. Come enjoy any of our five delicious fish options. All made with a fresh catch, seasoned local style, and cooked to golden perfection. Try the fish meal. Two slices of fish with a side. The fish combo. Two slices of fish, one side, and a drink. Maybe the fish sandwich combo. A one sandwich, a side, and a drink. Want more fish? Well, the royal fish meal is for you. Enjoy a slice of fish, a fish sandwich, with a side and a drink. Or maybe you just want our famous fish sandwich. The delicious Lenten specials are hot and waiting for you at your nearest royal castle. Thinking of what to have for lunch or dinner? Here's a meal tip from Royal Castle. If you're on the go and want something easy to eat, try Royal Castle's golden chicken nuggets. Enjoy these golden, tender, and tasty bite-sized treats of 10 pieces of nuggets, one side and a 16-ounce soft drink with your choice of honey mustard or barbecue sauce. And not forgetting the kids. The castle has a kids' nugget combo too. Of four pieces of nuggets, one side, and a 16-ounce drink. And our nuggets are made with the same delicious local flavors that we're famous for. It's the Royal Castle Golden Chicken Nuggets. Our culture, our taste. This meal tip was sponsored by Royal Castle. Our culture, our taste. Right, so that was your Royal Castle meal tip. We are back on the inside. I would like to hear from this guy who is saying that the phantom thing or the phantom um, 
What is it called? Them thing long time. My spirit. Uh, what is it called? Is it? A, what kind of thing? A larger bless. No, like like when, when is it, well, a larger bless is a what? A spirit? Yeah. What is it called? It? Just a larger bless. A sukunya. A sukunya. A lagahu. Yeah. Right? A like duen. A duen. A buck. Oh, I'm gonna tell you that. Boy, they say the buck is a short man for You know what he called football? Is it so called she? That is a larger bless. A larger bless. That is a larger bless. But let me hear from my partner. Let me hear from my partner. He say these things don't get out. Don't doubt these things. Hi, good evening. Well, good afternoon. Welcome. Yes, me again. Yeah, man. Um, I don't need to lie at the same time, right? Right. I'm not saying There is a place after New Grand. Yeah. Inside Torrid Street, which is called Sisters Road. Right? Sisters Road. Sisters Road. Right. I spent my early days in Sisters Road, right? Right. And um, by the crossroad of Stafford Road Junction, it had a shortcut from from the main road to inner Stafford Trace, right? Right. And one time around the age of four, Coming from private school, I, I ventured to the shortcut. Are you, you, you reach... going home by yourself at the age of four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was safe in them times. What? Coming from private school, I ventured to the track. Right. Right? To go home. And in the middle of the track, I, I, I saw this tall figure with his foot open. And as, as, as far as I look up, my head just keep going back and I saw him going up to the cloud. Right. And, you know, I got frightened at this point in time. I turned back and came back to the main road mm -hmm. and went all around, went down with some stuff or trees to my home. When I reached at home, I told my grandmother what I saw. All she told me is, um, don't pass back there again. That is all. So, 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 pass. did you, did you, you didn't attempt to pass at all when you saw the thing? I couldn't, I couldn't. But, but could, the, the legs wasn't open that you could have passed through? Yeah, but it was a frightful. When oh, see oh, figure, it was frightful? Yeah, it was no, frightful. No, when see I, the figure, I don't, you would I don't not have mama guy near here, right? I know uh, my because this here is something really new to me, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm telling you. No, I want to ask you, was it? A black looking something it was well uh, well at this point of time i can't remember exactly the oh, color right? All right, all right, all right. I but i really saw the figure right and i did not venture through the foot i turned back and and and, and walked a long way home all right i want to reach home out of breath i told my grandmother and all she told me is don't pass back there again hmm. okay all right man i don't need to lie at 70 years old all right, thanks That's very my much. It was yeah. true. Bye-bye. Thanks very much. And I know you wouldn't call National Radio and Life or something like that. If you saw that, I I have to hold you to that. You, you saw it, you saw it, you know? You wouldn't take your time today to call and say you saw something like that and it wasn't there. Hi, good evening. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon, TC, and good afternoon, Heavy. Yeah, well, yesterday, imagine. yesterday I came home and leave from work. So I didn't, I couldn't tune in. But when I came in the night, I was up at nine, so I started listening to you all. Right. And I so I'm so interested. I found so interesting about when I heard um somebody, I think it was um um what's his name? Things they call in and say, well, you know, you should call Kamala. When, when I get interested in the program now, right. I say, well, let's go and call Kamala to talk to her. That was nice. So I mean, I I, I listened to the whole program. Up to this morning, I finished listening. And it just came to my mind that good suggestion, you know. If you all get invited for the first time, you and see leader enter a PNM, well, a so called PNM station, they like to say, you know, <laughs> you know, to come for interview. Let me get some numbers on this program, plenty more numbers. I know we have numbers, but that would be good to see her sitting on between the both of you all there and you all interviewing her, yeah, right? Yeah. If you can't get her online, but that would be so nice to see her going in and I am that station, to, you know, for interview. Everybody will be locked up and all the station will bum up with views. <laughs> right? So I just have a suggestion I'll go yeah, to I, you guys there. I like that. I, I like it. I like it. Thanks very much, man. I really like that. And we'll work on it because we have um, people like Kingsley and thing who, you know, who can who can make it happen and, and other people who have the ears of the um, of the opposition leader that they believe that can make it happen, man. So don't worry. I think we can make it happen. All right? Don't worry. Mm -hmm.
me play this voice note here because I see we have some voice notes as well. I take in your calls. This afternoon is a light afternoon. We're not going heavy this afternoon. Nope. You understand? We're just taking it cool. And heavy say, good Friday, don't go on the beach. Because if you bathe in the water, you're going to turn it into a fish. That's because why you go, you don't eat a piece of fish. I morning. never said that. I said that was told to us as, a, as children. As, but why, why would they tell us that? I don't know. You know, the, I was having a hot cross bun conversation with somebody, right? <laughs> and, and, and they was like, um, you know, I ain't get no cross bun for them children. I wonder if I'll get some this morning. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, could you tell me what's the significance of the um, cross buns? I don't know. I say, well, wait, why, why are you buying it then? What is the significance tradition. of Tradition. And that is what the person said, right? The mm -hmm. person said, tradition. But is it, it, is it, is that enough to have you buying something that you don't even know about? Yeah. yeah. It come, it come like Christmas. People don't know why they celebrate Christmas, but they go school out for Christmas and... Well, some people, use the some people use the Christmas opportunity to get a house at general, kind of overall, or... Yeah, but, if you understand but, they could, but they could do that anytime time Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You understand? Know it's tradition. Yeah. It's tradition when, they, when the Wally people go and buy roti. You yeah. don't have to buy roti, but it's the Wally. It's tradition. You go and buy roti. I think roti for the Wally is the Wally. It's the Wally. Yeah, since just like Good Friday, hot cross buns, and you have a Good Friday meal with your with your, your provision and your fish and yeah. your, you know. Do you have fish today? No. It's yeah. the first Good Friday I haven't eaten fish. Okay. Because yeah. I, I'm going to tell you. I didn't if really you eat had, anything today, really. If you had kingfish today, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, next week your property tax is going up because kingfish is expensive. How oh, you could buy that? <laughs> TC. For a short period, it could be about five minutes. Yeah. I listen. Just five minutes come on radio as one that I could jump in my car to, to, to come down with just five minutes. And I hear people making excuses. Sorry. Ma Hello. Good afternoon. Mommy. Yes, darling. Yeah, load on the radio, load on the radio. Yeah, load on the radio. All right, what's up, darling? <laughs> I do love him. I say, oh, Lord, I'm not calling to DC. I tell every home they enjoy the good part of food. Oh, Lord. Well, like, I don't want to roll with a van, I know. Thing I go, thing I go to have you at all. You have food home there that you could offer. Have you some good Friday food? Yes, I have food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, have you, have you need to pass for some good Friday food? Have you eat for the day? Oh, God, if I know that, I can tell you. I'll tell you, pass for the day, yeah? Yeah, have you, have you, any, have you no provision or anything for the day? Oh, God, man, it's not a lady provision, higher, heavy, heavy. I just go outside if I walk. Oh, Lord, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I just have, I just have to make a cassava dumpling. Cassava but... dumpling, you make today? Yes, boy, I just make that little for a good Friday and pass as long as I arrive, I make him a cassava dumpling. All right, all right. Yes, darling. You hear? Yes. So you stay good, you hear? You too, darling. Next. Yes. So anything, you will just take my number and you'll call me. Next box will be like, and you'll get a nice good Friday food. All right. Are you loving? Yes, sweetheart. Yes, loving. So have a blessed day, Trinidad and Tobago. Everybody enjoy all your Good Friday and Easter and everything and stay safe and take all the time on the road. You hear? Yes, okay. Lord. God bless us and keep us. Amen. All right. Trinidad and Tobago, bye-bye. And always enjoy all your holiday. All right, heavy and TC. All right, sweetheart. Okay, later. All right, All sweetie. right. Yes. <laughs> You see, yes, a woman calling to say, if you can pay, you said that the phone on? <laughs> yes, a woman calling to say, if you can put plan on your phone, you can pay property tax. If 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 phone phone plan more important I, than your house than your house. Okay. I say Lord Father. If you can put phone, carry on your phone. If you can put a plan on your phone. 
and pay the phone companies and them monthly bill. Right. Then they can pay property tax. Lord, right? Yeah. Like a phone plan not as important as your property tax and your property. So if you could pay a monthly bill for your phone, right. you can pay a property tax. We really going backwards, Yeah, why? So we're going back to the days that no cell phone again, though. Don't have a phone. You see the this the, the, the stupid excuses they're trying to come up with to justify paying a prop paying a tax is what killing me. Nowhere, nowhere, and these people are trying to convince me that all over the world is pay tax. Where are they get that information from? It is wrong. It is stupid. You understand? And a lot of people believe because people in America pay tax, we have to pay tax here too. So if America going to hell, we had to go to hell too. Everybody in America jump off a cliff, we had to jump off a cliff too. Yep. You understand? How stupid and dunce and stupid can you be? All on a different level of dotish, a man calling to say, right, that all them people who have um, apartment buildings and all them things, them have to pay property tax, them should pay property tax. And they're trying to find all kind of means and ways to say, all who have this house and our house, and what are you using? Right here, the examples they're using. They're using the examples of the well to do and the people who have houses, who have big house and big mansion and thing to justify, right? Well, then don't make it property tax, make it a luxury tax, right? For people who have money. You understand? But what they fail to realize when they make it property tax, property taxes are crazy, but not only them will be paying. Exactly. The majority of people have who have half have house right now is what were inherited by the grandparents and parents who build a house from scratch. The majority of poor people. No nobody in the past 20 years could say they could go and any bank and get a mortgage for a house under this economy. As the guy sent a voice note yesterday and say, you have to be working for $15,000 plus to pay a mortgage because no house is under a million dollars. Not a house you wouldn't get for a million, under a million dollars in the market for sale. You have to go and build a house yourself from scratch. You understand? And you put you put the price of material and cement and all kind of things. It, it's like you're spinning top in mud. You really had to do a lot of sacrifices in this economy where you had to live and pay bills and all kind of thing. And we're going to be living in the meantime while it's a house building. You had to be paying rent. You understand where I'm coming from? So this all this world of talking and all these excuses are they making. All the only pointing fingers are people who have money and say, look, you have a big mansion there and he not pay no tax. And look, this one have a big mansion and I'm going to pay tax. But what about the people who don't have no mansion? They have to pay the tax too, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And the people who have mansion in the, in the minority, the majority of people who that tax is going to uh, 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 um, who's going to suffer for that tax is poor people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the man with the big mansion and them could pay. Could pay, right? So I am not going to sacrifice my house for a man for a big mansion to pay a property tax so he can pay. That any making any logical sense? Nope. So you're trying to tell me because he can pay property tax, I must say yes for the tax, but he to pay, but I pay in too. Exactly. So I dotish. Yeah. Sacrificing I sacrificed yeah. myself yeah, to get a man money to pay tax. Yeah. What kind of stupid thinking is that? And they want to call this radio station and had a dotish one only calling and talking and set a stupidness. How? Right before yeah. <laughs> you understand? I don't know why. Or oh, they're trying to justify this tax. Nobody does justify a tax. No country the world people like tax. Taxing taxing is a is a capitalism form of keeping you oppressed. As as the former um as the video we play celebrate Rudy All the time. Everybody getting paid. Things building infrastructure, water, this, that, 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 I didn't have no tax. They're making it sound like if you don't get this tax, the country can't function. But that is what it looks like. But that would have trying to make, that would have trying to push them dotish people brain. Like, they don't, if, you, if we don't get this tax, nobody can't get no water, nobody can't get this, nobody can't get it, we can't pay public service. So, so who else pay them all the time? How if all the governments before, before property tax was paid, public service and do all the time? That's a red flag for you. That is to show that there must be mismanaged the country economy, mismanaged the country funds, mismanage all the money that they, that, they get, that they get, all the millions and millions and billions of dollars, 
So now they, they look at the grab and show, so they want to introduce, we know how to pay for their mistakes by paying our tax. Is that all we're going on? No. Any other talking about it? We got to get the property tax to pay bills and pay public servants and pay this and pay that. It's because what was working for us all the time by our resources being used and managed properly to give us roads, water, this, that, that have been mismanaged. So now you are handing the lion's mouth so you want to put out a tax all day so we the taxpayers don't have to pay for your mistakes. That way they're so adamant about the tax. And these stupid dotage PNM dunce and them want to call the radio station and talking about, well, if you can pay, if you can pay for a plan on your phone, well, you can pay for property tax. Really? Really? <laughs> Let me take some calls. Eh? I thought we had taken it light today, but all right. No, I, I just wanted to mention that. No, 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 no. you just get pulled in from them. You will talk all that you just talked there. And like I borrow my badge. You you will talk all that you just talked there, and you talk on ta in ta wall. Nah, talking to my people. They, they like what I'm saying. They understand you already. You didn't have to talk all of that. Who you trying to convince about that, yeah? No. Nah. You can never convince them. I don't Who can convince them? God can come and say don't vote for PNM. You're going to tell that now, God. I'm going back again to tell you. It's about a tree. I think they call it physic, not tree. Physic, not tree. When you cut it at a certain time, Good Friday, you used to bleed it. You know about that? <laughs> Did you know about that? What? Yeah, that's so yeah, I grew up, I hear my parents, and you used to say that. That part, that what, time, what, what, what is that? Time. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? That's not what you used to bleed? <laughs> you used to bleed the tree. You used to send out blood light. Maybe blood light sucks on about a certain time. I, that I, is I, I physics, don't know anything about that. Physics, not. <laughs> Probably, I don't know if it's true, because I never could know physics, not true. At that time. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. First time call. I was listening for all the time. Day and, uh, every single day. Um, when the property tax was 3%, the residents of Westmoreland asked to have a meeting Call him in both. Follow the news and you will hear that. And that is how it comes 2%. Call him as lower that for poor people. He lower that because residents in Westmoreland were crying. Thank you. Right? Happy holiday. Keep the joy. You have a sin happy. TC, all the play worries and worries and problems by Bushman for me now. You don't know the thing, right? Right now, I can't really campaign, you know, but I want to hear that song, Shit and Balance, right? Shit. Respect. And every, the next song I want to play for me is Madness by the Mighty May Tunes. <laughs> Madness. Trust me, run them with them, they right? Love in the house, everybody, keep all your joy. Yeah, Shit and Balance. Straight uh, well, and bad. <laughs> TC warm only after this this season, but yeah. I mean, what could no laptop here now? <laughs> what do you request that is, like, is, is, is TC warm only up? I don't reach here. <laughs> Me even walk no laptop. Nah, you just pull tune from on there. Somebody pop up a bully. Yeah, I'm going to put it down. See the see the photo? I tell everybody that's got name. I, I, what is the name of the bully? They ain't seen it. Oh, God, well, <laughs> it, it's obvious. It's obvious. The, um, the, 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 Rowley go get some licks on some uh, Good day, heavy and TC Bitcoin. Eh? Give me the second, give out 12 food can and it have no money. Eh? Did the money ex it, it expire? Well, when the election come, it's time to expire. He, they should have make a good Friday bubbly with he, he face and everything and beat it like a, like, like nothing. And that's a, <laughs> oh, God. And give it a good licking. Hang it up there and beat it. And keep on talking about the traditions. Uh, the, of Good Friday, fellas. Keep on talking about that. Let me hear about the, um, the one with the, the egg in the water. Have a good day, fellas. Heavy and TC. Let's call them John B, boy. Them is John B. John B. John B. <laughs> yeah, John B. Look at John B. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. 
Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, in your program, you're calling people fools. Um, you're so educated that you're calling people fools. It takes one to know one. Being fooled doesn't no, mean educated. I have nothing to do with the education. Common sense doesn't make it. Common sense. Fool. When I do have common I'm sense, there. I always make you a fool. Um, sweetheart, you have a... Sweetheart, you have a... Hold on. Hold you don't have no common sense. Sweetheart. That's your problem. You're educated, but you have no common I, sense. That's why I want to make... That's why I call it. All right, darling. All right. You don't have a contribution. You don't have a contribution to me. You understand? What is the talk about? Don't call people fool. Who educated and educated. It's not about education. If it doesn't... If you don't feel offended by it, you shouldn't. You shouldn't study that. You understand? It's falling your garden. It's falling your garden. I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't even study whatever you say there. Yeah. You say something. You feel no pressure. You know, you know, you educated. You educated. You understand? I have nothing to do with it. Let me take one more to the top of the other. Um. Hi. Good afternoon, caller. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy Easter. Same, Bye. Same to you. <laughs> Happy Easter. I like that. Short and Good afternoon, TC and Evie. Good afternoon. Evie, I know where the sad part. For example, if I live in next to you heavy and my property is a residential but it have no house on it and I decide to plant up my land, does that necessarily mean that my land is agricultural land? Now, that what Mr. Ruka come to say. I don't know where them find them pictures from. Like they went on Google, the website, and take them pictures on them, and they come and just because one of the apartments have a yard next to it, it not necessarily means that it's agricultural land. The people on them must be just planting up the land, the little residential land, right? And he after he said a back pedal because first he they come and say UNC owning that, and when he realized he talking a whole lot nonsense, he said a back pedal because you know he could get serious problems with that. All right, we have just about a minute to go. So we we'll wrap up this hour. Yep. Right? Doing it like this. And look, and look, um, exactly. Don't forget to play Love in the House. Shouldn't know DJ TC. DJ TC. <laughs> I have to listen back Love in the House and boys. Look, I'm fine. Back now. Yes. Time throughout every day. Let the moon shine through the peaceful night. This is seven times rise and seven times fall. But I don't really believe in the falling things at all. Cause life continues as it goes. If you really want to know the truth of the truth is not being told. Oh, no, 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 no. So I said, these are some serious times. All I can see around us is this violence and crime. Full time for us to centralize, socialize, and realize. So let the sun shine throughout every day. Let the moon shine through the peaceful night. This As is the season time. changes, let's continue to show that ocean of unity for each other. Let's harmonize that sweet rhythmic sound that comes from deep within, that reflects togetherness, getting back to the issues that matter the most. One mission, one station, the street 919 FM. 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 The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street 919 FM. You, you, you've got bills to pay, and so do we. Let's go pay some bills on the street, 919 FM. Tune in to the street, 919 FM, every second, third, and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Welcoming you to Reset with Dr. Livet, your weekly guide to holistic health and wellness. As we dive deep into the worlds of holistic health, from ancient herbal remedies to cutting-edge holistic practices, we'll explore it all. Join Dr. Liveth with over 11 years of experience as a holistic health practitioner, healer, and master herbalist as he shares invaluable insights to help you reset your mind, body, and spirit. Reset with Dr. Livet every second, third, and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Only on on the street, 919 FM. 
If you want greater respect from your bankers, bosses, those in authority, then words matter. If you want more productive business relationships with co-workers, customers, or clients, then join Dr. Madonna on the street, 919 FM, every Monday, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. For Words Matter, communication for joyful workplaces. Dr. Madonna will help you unlock the secret power of words for your financial relationship and physical well-being. Whether you work at home, on the road, or in an organization, join Dr. Madonna every Monday, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. For Words Matter, communication for joyful workplaces. Spiritual Baptist Faith presents on Friday, 22nd March 2024, our first open air service at Isaac Junction, Coover at 7 p.m. Our dress code is national colors. Come and hear some dynamic men and women of God expound the gospel of Jesus Christ. On Monday, the 25th of March, 2024, the following activities will take place. Opening of the second entrepreneurial village at 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Men of Balov service, 7.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Dress code blue. Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024, exhibition which commences from Tuesday to Thursday, 28th March, 2024. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Entrepreneurial Village, Tuesday to Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. DOC Presentation, Tuesday to Thursday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Youth for Christ, dress code white, starts at 6 p.m. Wednesday, the 27th of March, 2024, Woman of Substance Service. The time is 6 p.m., dress code pink. Thursday, the 28th of March, 2024, Myla Spiritual Baptist Experience. Starts 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Spiritual Baptist Diaspora Service. Time is 6 p.m. Dress colored. Saturday, the 30th of March, 2024, Spiritual Baptist Liberation Day Service, which commences at 9 a.m. Dress code colored. All events will take place at the Administrative Building, Balmain, Kuva. See you there. The Ministry of Youth Development and National Service, My DNS, is looking for the next big star. Are you a national of Trinidad and Tobago, ages 10 to 35 years old, and aspiring to be a performing artist? This is your chance to receive free artist development training, mentorship, and win the first prize of $150,000. Show us your talent at the Youth on Stage National Youth Festival and Talent Search. Individuals and groups of no more than four persons are welcome to audition. This coming Monday, 1st April, at San Fernando City Hall from 2 p.m. and Tuesday, 2nd April at Maruga Multipurpose Youth and Sport Facility at 2 p.m. Pre-register now for auditions via the ministry's website at mydns.gov.tt and follow us on social media at mydns.tt for more details about Youth on Stage. The National Youth Festival and Talent Search brought to you by the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service. Join the winning team with Pastor Alkaline John every Tuesday at 11.05 a.m. to 12 noon and every Wednesday night from 7.05 p.m. to 8 p.m. Live on the street 919 FM as he talks about La Vive, the power of five fruits, one of the most powerful antioxidant supplements on the market today. The five superfruits in La Vive are mangosteen, acai, pomegranate, goji, and nuni. These fruits have a positive and profound impact on human health performance and disease. Join as he gives live testimonials of the Laviv healing powers. To get more information, you can contact Pastor Alkaline John at 516-286-7079 or you can visit his webpage at www.alkalinejohn.com. Remember, every Tuesday at 11.05 a.m. and Wednesday at 7.05 p.m. live on the street, 919 FM. Job Absalom Health and Wellness. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Get your Bioplasma Diagnostic Full Body Scan. Examines all of your organs in a single session. 95% accuracy. It's painless. 
non-invasive and affordable. Call Pastor Job at 350-2628-767-1031 or 275-6300. Sick and tired of being sick and tired? Get your bioplasma diagnostic full body scan at Job Optimum Health and Wellness. to the street 919 FM every Friday from 9.15 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. with Kingdom Health Services situated at number 125 to 186 Eastern Main Road in Tuna Puna for the program Health and Healing merging the old with the new with Mr. Brent Diet for more information call 318-7471 or 4840141 or 3604100 it's all about kingdom health services on the street 919 fm turn your lights down low and listen to the master's radio get in touch with god Turn your radio on. You are invited to join Pastor Morris Johnson of the Church of the Firstborn Assembly Miracle Center, located at number 399 Eastern Main Road, Waiko, in Sangre Grande, for the Old Time Gospel Hour Family Radio Ministry. Every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Mondays, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., Trauma and Bereavement. Also, every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., The Low and You. Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., Dealing with Disabilities. And every Friday evening from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., The All Night Prayer Live on the street, 919 FM, designed with you in mind. This program deals with the day's issues from a biblical perspective, and you'll also be given the opportunity to call in and interact with us. Micah 6, 8 says, He hath showed you, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of you, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Your financial support through the First Citizens Bank will be greatly appreciated. Account number 795-222. For further information, call 753-1113-0610-4676. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Share the line. Share the line. The street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The street 919 FM. Yes, good afternoon. We are back. We are back. We are back. It is just about seven minutes after five o'clock, heavy, right? Seven minutes after five. And I know Scato listening. Eh? Yes, yeah, Scato. What's Lock up, on. Scato boy? What's up? Scato lock on, you understand? Today, so, a, man, a man in the garage, we have a conversation, and I don't know why they're coming around me with politics. So, a man telling me, look, you think, um, if, uh, if if you and Z come back in party, if we go live good or no, but plenty of we go live short. I said, what do you mean by that? Oh, I don't understand. He's trying to explain to me that when the U UNC will be giving gangsters contract and they will go and buy guns and more currently killing what happened. I said, more killing than what happened? No. I said, what are you trying to tell me? He wicked, boy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because when you're in power, all them gangsters get contract and they will kill people. I said, where? Well, yeah, yo, yo, yo. Who you getting your information from? Who tell you that? But that will be going on. And da, 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 da. I said, boy. I said, so Texas will show. Every time the PNM is in power, crime goes up, including murders. And any other party in power, it goes back down. Why is it not happening? You can't answer. Conversation done. Yeah. You can't, you can't, the, 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 the
It's not a political video. It's not really, not really a political video. Right, well, take a plane, let, me, let me see if I can find the video. Hey, hey, big tune. This, the kid right there. I like, uh, good, yeah. yeah. Click on that video. It's a video of the Guyana president in a... In an interview with uh, a, um, a foreign media, a foreign media house, I should say. Let's say a foreign media house, mm -hmm. right? And he's interviewing the president of Guyana about their oil and their oil and gas and all these things, right? So take a listen how the Guyanese president dealt with the situation when asked, right? Listen to how he answered the questions. Please. And the first thing I wear here is how much oil Guyana is set to drill and get, and how much money they're going to get from that oil. Listen. You have to. Yes, <coughs> no. Decade, two decades. It is. Uh, expected that there will be 150 billion dollars worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is uh, expected that there will be 150 billion dollars worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. It's an extraordinary figure, but think of it in practical terms. That means according to many experts, more than 2 billion tonnes of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves, and be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let me in stop Dubai. You right there. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive, a forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? No, does no, that no, no. give you I, the that, right that, to release that all of this the carbon? Right? Does from... that give you the right to, to lecture us on climate change? I am going to lecture you on climate change because we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Ghana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero. Isn't there a cynicism here in Georgetown, best expressed by your vice president, who said recently, because there is this climate change imperative to decarbonize, our policy is to get as much oil out of the ground as quickly as possible. Now, he said, that's harsh for those who think that you should be environmentally sound, but that is the reality of it. Those were very honest words from your vice president. And that is what we are, honest. We are practical. So you're rushing, we're, rushing we are to get this oil practical. out before we, any deal is let, done let, to quote you, Dubai COP to transition away from oil and you, gas. You can say we are rushing, but we are very practical. We have this natural resource and we are going to aggressively pursue this natural resource mm. because we have to develop our country. We are committed to the development of this region. We have to create the opportunity for our people because no one is bringing that. I was just taking it in very yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Guyana is low. set to put, um, rake in $150 billion in oil in, next, in the next two decades. Yep. $150 billion. <coughs> And that is in the U.S. Hmm. <laughs> They're going to be the next Dubai of the Caribbean. Long gone are the days, Trinidad and Tobago, you understand, will be like that. Long gone, long gone. You see what's going on there? Yeah. That is, you hear the man too? The man wanted to come out the ground fast so that he could, he could develop, develop the country. country and give his people opportunities. Mm -hmm.
And guy, as he said previously before this interview, he's not going to make the same mistakes that Trinidad made. But a lot of people here believe that we can keep making any mistakes once once PNM in power. They said they'll keep on doing it. Yeah. You understand? But here, after they done suck out the economy, suck out the resources, and do what they want with it, and get rich, and get their friends and family and finances, and give the, and get the rich, and make the rich get richer. They come with a tax, we know. And we had to take that. I saw an article in the newspapers, right in the chat, somebody sent it. Right? Right on WhatsApp. Right? I will get it. Let me get it by the time. Take a call by the time. With, with yeah, personal voice by the time. I will get it for you now. When I see that, I could I feel sick. Love in the house, love in the house. Oh God. Heavy, but if it's the DRA, I love you, but we can't take it light, heavy, but boy, I love you too bad, but I... You in the line of duty, even of duty, I love you. We can't take it light, heavy. And you see all them people who saying, with all the property tax, all these things can't function. Look the kind of psychology this man using, and we not. Look the psychology this man using, and we not. When every budget read, you see all the ministries, we have to deal with all them same problem. What are you talking about can happen if we pay the property tax? Every budget read, all them ministries that's got a quota of money to, to run. For that year, all somehow it doesn't happen. It's not we need money for it. It's not we need money for it. All in realizes that going on every year it doesn't have a ministry where they're saying we have no money for this or we have no money for that. They're reading out all in the budget, all, all, all. Look how, the, look how much money that is reading our budget. Every ministry does get a money, so everything's supposed to function. Everything was functioning before we really come with all the rest of government. Why is only when he come, he say, we need to tax all for that to happen. Oh God, all you, use all your head now, stop walking on all your head now, please now, boy. Please now, boy, you ain't seen what's going on. This is not a football team, boy. This is your children, boy. We have some 18-year-old who now looking to go and vote, you know, that why I like heavy. We can't afford to stop. We can't afford to stop, right? We can't afford to stop, and we can't afford to let nobody come. And send no negative signal to them, you tell them that we can't transmit them negative signal. Let them go on our next program with that. I know I say, you know, no, because this is where the danger okay. is. This is where the influence is. We can't let them do that. We have to educate okay. them, you tell them, because they want to vote. Wow. They're really willing to vote. As they say, election. I say, it's PNM. Out. Out for PNM. It's PNM. Out. And Dr. Rowley had to answer that with the youth and them worth half a trillion dollars while they're talking about property tax. We're supposed to have money in my pocket in my bank account every month. All these dunsy head people are. Love in your shit and balance, right, Debbie? Thank you. CNC Television, this is an article from Guardian Media Limited. The Answer Macabre Group has announced that it's recorded the highest ever revenue in Trinidad in 2023, amounting to 7.46 billion in profits in 2023. The risk is definitely getting richer under the PNM. Wow. Mm. Ever. Ever. The ever. Never get so much money. They never make so much money. And the economy, low. And we suffering. We poor people suffering. suffering. And the rich record 7.46 billion in profits. Hmm. How T C How? I mean how? Okay. Somebody get an opportunity that we're not getting. So when the youth man say he can't get a job with the bachelor's degree and the master's degree, the primary not tell him. Well, we had to settle for something other than that. We uh, can't really, you know, we, and now we, you know, the government can't give, give open place to get jobs for, for an, uh, and everybody. And, you know, you got to go somewhere and look for other things to do. So then tell me that from since that primary school. Yeah. Tell me that from secondary school. Tell me that, hey, you see that degree you're going for there? Don't waste your time and your money. Don't waste your sleepless nights any energy because when you're done with that degree, that ain't giving you really nothing. You're really getting nothing with that. Enough. Better you go and train for something that you can get a short job with. That would have to do. 
Stop bamboozling the people in the children head. Stop bamboozling the children head and telling them, go and further your education and, and you'll get you. So all these young people with bachelor's and master's and associate's degree, tell, telling them they have no experience and they're overqualified. So, what, so then what do they want to get it for? That's the situation going on in China and Tobago, right? And the rich getting richer and no opportunities to the young people. You understand? Look, the week me up here, split some. We're we'll taking your calls as well. I see the phone lines was ringing just now, so we'll take your calls as well. All right? Call a good afternoon. Hey, how are you going, boy? We're cool, man. Heavy and TC. Yes, man. Look, I, I just want to ask a question first. I want to do both me, because I wasn't around for a few days. The match still on or it off? That is the first thing I want to find out. We talked about our match the other day. Well, there was, and I give the name and thing and say I will attend. Is it on or off? We yes or no? We, I just we, want to know that. Hold on, we are doing a survey. That we, were eh? doing, we, we didn't plan a match, you know. We are doing a survey. Okay, okay. You understand? Okay, good. We are, we are doing so, a survey. And we are uh -huh. trying to go to the match on the 18 that the government court team and all these other people had formulated. But they didn't uh -huh. get permission to do no match either. So, you know. Okay, so it's off, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, good, well, right. So, here we are saying. Right, so I gave me information because I was not wrong. All right. Now, I listen to people calling and thing. Calling in and thing on all them programs. Some or the other, I find that the people ain't sure that they vote in all the PNN. Here, why I say that? I listen to how people sign in. And I am saying, if we vote in all the PNM, don't worry about property tax. Who we voting in going to repeal it? We win. Let me say April, because Monday is April. And they put off the thing there a little bit. So let me say, let me say, let me say they even bring it back, and we have to pay a month or two them. I'm just making a point. Why we worry? You know where is we problem here? I want to believe people ain't look like they're voting on the PLM. That's the problem here. I have no worry. You know why? If we vote on the PLM, Mr. Basad, the CESA, and the UNC is going to repeal it. What is the worry? Well, it seems as though, it seems as though, all who talking, they don't believe the PNM going and get vote out. Listen, if you going and vote out the PNM, you are no worry. We ain't going and get no property tax. They ain't going and raise no electricity, neither no water, water tax increase. What is we worry? Our problem here is to put the PNM out of office. But I don't believe people, be, I don't think from what I'm hearing, people feel that they going and get vote out. Cola. And that is where the problem Cola. is. Cola. Let me tell you something. In 86, we didn't know we voted out them. We didn't say if, you know. You understand? And you listen to all the callers and them. And I listening to them. They're not so in as though, they're, they're so in as though, like, they ain't sure how we going on without the PNM. Don't tell me nothing about PNM supporters and things, you know. Forget them, you know. I am saying if you, if we do what we have to do, we don't have to worry about property tax because they're going to repeal it. What is the problem? Cola? People seem like they're not sure they're going to vote for the PNN. You are listening to you? Yeah. Right? You see, with regards to the property tax, uh -huh. and the repealing of the property tax, right? Uh -huh. You are not sure if they could do it. They could put laws and clauses in it that if it passes, it could stay there for the next 15 to 20 years before it could come back to the parliament to repeal. You see, this so is what this is. This is me, hold on, if, hold on. I want to give uh -huh. you an example. In 19, in, in, during the NAR tenure, when they introduced the VAT, right? The VAT was supposed to stay in existence for 20 years before it come back before the parliamentary repeal, right? And, mm -hmm. no, and since then, no government have repealed the, the VAT. So the VAT is coming well, to the economy. Say, you know that. Right? You know VAT is part of the economy, right? R you know, know that. Right. It, it, it was introduced back in the 80s under the NAR. I know. Right. I Good. know about that. You were so, a teenager then. What I'm saying to you. I know about VATCOM. No. I'm just, to take them measures. I'm, 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 I know that. I'm just using VAT as an example. 
Uh -huh. I'm using that as an example. They could put a clause where when the property okay. tax is implemented, it cannot be removed until a certain length of time before. You All right, so, that clause that, so even though that it, clause that they wins, it doesn't guarantee that they can repeal it. So that clause that they could put, that don't need a, that don't need a special majority to put that clause? They, 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 they adjust the whole thing to make it a simple majority. That is why they, so, they, they want to pass the property tax so bad. A simple majority can pass this tax. Okay, but they this that tax I, 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 possible by a simple majority. Okay, so so but here what happened? And so you see, you see some of the callers were calling the station. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to them. Some of them same callers going and voting them. Who does call you? And I know it. All right. I'm talking I'm talking to a man the other day. You know what a man telling me? I'm going now. A man analyzing the whole thing for me. A man said the thing is the election is being being fought. Between seven seats. So I said, well, how you come to that? He says, he says, PNM winning 17, UNC winning 17, and the other 17, the other six or seven seats that will decide the election. I say, you telling me with all this pressure people getting, and they're saying, and all this suffering, people going to, PNM going to have 17 seats in the house still? Yeah. yeah. He tell me, say yes. And you know what happened? The man call all your area then. The man went so far to say nobody shouldn't put up no 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 um no candidate to oppose the PNL because they're going and win the hmm. so I make a joke I say well after he read beat him out so much that conflict is going back and forth PNL he tell me say yes. Yeah. Yes. Sad so I'm saying I don't want to take up no more time, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, saying that that that. It, All right, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. We, yeah, what what people have to think about is voting on the PNM, but they ain't sorry like the show. Right, people sorry right. fighting. You right. have never sorry in 286, and right. we did it. All right, Uncle. All right, Uncle. Thanks. All right, right. Thanks, All right. enough time. time. We gave plenty of time. Yeah, man. Thanks. Call her good afternoon. Good afternoon, heavy NTC. This is the TNT Phantom. Yeah, Phantom. What is this thing? So they tell them, the situation so bad in the country, boy. Let me tell you something. I just dealt with a situation where a police officer can't get protection from the police. What you said? You hear me? I hear you clearly. I'm what you just said? A, I just dealt with a situation. Uh -huh. oh, let me fix my phone here. Where a, a police officer can't get protection from the police. The police, the police, police can I get a what? A police officer. Uh -huh. Cannot get protection from a police from the police from the TTPS. A oh. police officer. That's how bad it is. You believe what's happening in the country? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, you know, people are still confused about what Kamala administration is going to do. We, um, her, her administration, is not just going to deal with property tax, we are going to put things in place to help people build their lives, bring in resources closer to you, decentralizing a lot of things, making it accessible. What people don't seem to understand is they're acting like uh, Mrs. B. Sesa coming to rip them off. What she did, what she did for them in the five years that she was in uh, an office, building 106 schools, building hospitals, everybody eating good. They made so much a uh, racial statement about the crime uh, when the, the, the SOE, when uh, the police, uh, maybe the officers mishandled some of it. They didn't do a good job. But that the objective was not a racist thing because the officers are the same complexion and race of the people who have been arrested. But we have so much corruption in the police force, boy. Every day I get in different kind of complaints about police officers. Some of it I can't really say here and don't want to say about it. But, you know... People have to wake up and come together and fight for themselves. If they if they if, if they don't see enough, I don't know what to say. But I you know I just want to keep encourage you guys to keep for doing the good job that you help educating the people. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Mr. Was. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you and uh, Mr. Mr. Um, Eddie. And um, all the best for the weekend, the same, holidays. Same to you, sir. Um, I, I just want to add another two things. I heard Mr. Heavies and the gentleman, right? 
um, before the, the last. Speaking about the property tax, <clears throat> I think the opposition is quite clear with respect to repealing the, 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 the legislation. And um, But I'm still hearing, like the caller, and like heavy, I'm still hearing the people talking about, you know, going through and give some data how much 3% and 2%. And it was passed by an ordinary, a, a, a ordinary majority, a simple majority. And therefore, it can be repealed by a simple majority. It doesn't require a special majority to be repealed. Right? And the question about sunset clause and all that, there's no sunset clause. Even if you put a sunset clause, it doesn't, it doesn't negate the fact. It does not deny, uh, negate the fact that it can be repealed. You put a sunset clause, what it means that the clause, the, the, the act would, would, would um, the effect of the provision in the act would come to an end at a specific date. But it doesn't mean that it, it cannot be repealed. All right? At the end of the, if you look at the legislation, at the bottom of the legislation, you may see them say that this act will come to an end or, or, or cease to have effect on so and so date. That is the sunset clause they may in fact um, impose or, 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 or put place in the bill. But it can be repealed, and they say that they're going to repeal it. They have a special majority. Then they require three fifths, and who knows, or, or three quarters. Or, or two thirds, and nobody knows if they win the election. Whether in fact they would have that majority in the in the in in, in, the, in both houses, or is that this one half and probably a lower, uh, probably a, 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 um, but yeah, in, in in both houses. So the fact remains is that it can be re and it will be repealed by a simple majority. That 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 that's it. So the debate with respect to. Um, the debate, that, the debate that is going on and the people seem to be a bit, they, they, you know, I don't know if they're, if they're, they're doubtful or, or probably, you know, they don't, that kind of uncertainty, I, I think that must be dispelled and must be taken away from their thoughts. Because if they say they're going to repeal it, the only how it would not be repealed is if, in fact, they do not win the election. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, gosh, Evian. TCFC had just mentioned the word jumpy and one jump out. One jump out on your show right now. Have a good day for that. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. Mr. West, make it more plain heavy. Okay? Thank you, Mr. West. That is what I was saying. Don't worry about no damn tax. Worry about putting them out of office. It could be repealed. I'm going to give somebody else a chance. Yeah, man. Thanks so much. Call good afternoon. Yeah, that is the view you took with the guy and the president and the Englishman, Stephen Saka. Right? Hey, this is in Hello? We're not here. We didn't hear anything the caller said because yeah. of the uh, amount of yeah, noise in the back. We were getting in the background. <coughs> what you can do is call us back. All right. And load on your radio. And load on the radio. Good afternoon, TC. Good afternoon. We are still to be for an edit one step. We are like a bullet. I said, I make a video with all of you, boy. You make a video with me? Yeah, all of us are very trouble safe, man. Let's talk to us. We take a light today. I'm going to know fire. Yeah, but no fire. Today, good uh, Friday, being good. You gotta dance like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta blight today. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man, cool. Call us, call us. 342-008-1466-5391. I like this suit, man. Have you bad suit, boy? Yes, here, Prime Minister, so Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Bad, bad a waste, suit, a waste of a good suit. I, I, I don't like what I do. <laughs> Caller, good afternoon. Let me kiss you, good afternoon. Blessings to you all the time. Same to you. 
Could you imagine heaven if we had a refinery in operation? If we had what? Diana, the refinery. Really? Could you load down your radio in the background, please, caller? Okay, then. Better now? Yes, we're hearing you now. Yeah. Repeat, you what, repeat what you said. Could you imagine mm -hmm. if we had a refinery in operation mm -hmm. with our Calcom brother? Yeah, having all that oil. Having all that oil. Thank yeah. you. Correct. Thank you very much. We'd have been getting a lot of money to refine that oil that Guyana have. Exactly. That's what happened when the caller just now. Oh, yeah. the, the, this caller did not hang up. Oh. And he raised his radio. So when the next caller is trying to make his contribution... Oh, the next caller radio in the background. We, we were thinking as the next background that was that oh. noisy, but it wasn't. Love in the house. Love in the house. Up now, I think. Fireball is wicked, evil, and I might have to buy a genome. You're easing them up that day. I don't want to fire for you at the end of the day. You put it in your clothes. That was telling you, like people walking on their head, you see, by big, big, big elders, people who say they have scholarship and passes. The, 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 the following a man who say no money for them, but making the rich rich are the poor like dogs. You know? yeah. Watch them, they can't pay attention, but they're begging to pay property tax. Watch them. But they're not ashamed. Hmm. But you let it come out and defend all the children and think by all the end of the day, by. Yep. They've been mad or something in Trinidad, or as we fault, you know, and don't blame the UNC when the PNM stayed there, you know. Because one vote come and have us in all the time. After we see all that pressure we're going through for those eight years, you still don't know you on the fence, you undecided, or you mad come off planet to it. I was saying, straight and balance. Straight and balance. Thank you. For the Good Friday, I want Jesus on the cross to hear this song where all the taxpayers' money gone in Bert Kiantan. And what about the gas that they send Venezuela? And they bring in Del C. The man is a player. And call him in, but want to bring in sports car. Rowley must go, go, go. <laughs> Caller, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Tasty and Heavy. Good afternoon. Yeah, I, I, I keep on hearing certain callers making statements like it. When Kamala come in power, um, when you, when she was in power, that whole she was only attacking the black people and getting them locked up and all that. You can remember when Bazi Pandi was in government, who the full set up people he put it in, in the gallows? Hello? We listening to you. We listen to you, Kola. Yeah, well... I uh, don't hear nobody talking about that one because there's only say uh, Kamala will only get the black people locked up. But the force that people put the gallows on the Indian people. And and you shouldn't be even trying to justify that argument, Kola. You understand? You should leave them, oh. let them talk the talk because they're just talking and regurgitating. They have no facts. And by you trying to justify that by talking about what pan they did, it, 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 it came like an oxymoron. So don't waste your time. Okay? Okay. okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, man. TC. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing for me to understand it's a, it's a, how a human being, I ain't calling no, I just talking human being in general. How a human being could believe in a other human being so much that whatever that human being does, the person who believe in that human being saying that this is always right. It's good. Or oh, it's good. So even if everybody say, well, that's what they do, they're wrong. No, that's good. And all the wrongs adding up. 
And every single wrong that does done is good for them. Mm -hmm. So it makes you question, what kind of human being is that? <laughs> that can't be a human being. Yeah, and that cannot be an educated human being. And it cannot be a human being that have common sense either. Because you cannot tell me from 2015 to 2024, right, that every single thing that this government and the prime minister have done was good. And for you to be saying that, you have to seek psychiatric evaluation because you cannot define what is wrong from right. You have to be mad. Mm -hmm. And if you're mad, then we have to restrict you from voting because you cannot discern what is right from wrong. You come back like a child, like a, like a, like a, like a you have a disability. It come like you that you just a disabled person mentally. Hmm. Understand what I'm saying? Every time a conversation comes up about the wrong things that your government done has or doing, you have to go back to what the previous government done. Yeah. That is a justification. That is your justification. But you're not talking about the wrong that is happening right now before you, in front of your eyes. You refuse to see that. Yeah. You refuse to discern that. You refuse to see all the murders. You refuse to see all the high costs of them. You refuse, you refuse to see all the high taxes. But, but you refuse to see every... All, all of that have you seen there? Um, There's a bigger factor to that. What's the bigger factor? You're pointing at the last government and saying, look, they did this. Mm -hmm. Look, they did that. Mm -hmm. And all the things that they done... That, that do that the end result was what? The the, the, the come out of power. Lost. The lost the election and election not take power no more. Right. Because of, of that. that. Right. Now if it's so and you so righteous that you can see all the things that they did. Yeah. You seen all the things that they did, but you ain't seen nothing that this government did. But obviously you've seen what it what the government now is doing. So where's the, so, what so is what, the answer? So where's the answer for it? All right. Then that is why I tell you, you have a bigger picture to that. Yeah. And, and, and any right thinking like myself, right thinking person will say, okay, I have been through the yellow, see what they did. Yeah. Dip my finger and I remove them because they did stupidness. Right. I've been through the red. The red tell me, go get them five. Get them ten. Get them ten. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm hmm We <laughs> see. And in the 10, it have been worse. 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 It's better to cut them short at five, just like how they cut the, 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 the at five, right? Right. Mm hmm Why would I go and give them a next Not a, five? A next five. Why? Why any right-thinking person trying to be go could be doubting themselves to say they're going to give this government an additional five years? I am telling you, it cannot happen. Somebody and, call and, me and now and tell me. Even, this don't even have to do with politics. Eh? Do you see? Take this whole I even thing talk, away we from even talk, politics we, because yeah. I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of youths out there that is not privy to the information or will not sit by a radio and listen. And listen, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. They will vote based on... What are they going through? Basic knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyday life. Yeah. Basic things of uh, on what is happening in and around them. Real killing. Mm -hmm. Food prices yeah. at times hard. Hard, yeah. They can live and, and no job. They, and they can live and enjoy the life. Yeah. The job opportunity yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is less than zero. Them do when you go and you say to a youth, how much was the budget? This Last, but how much was the, 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 the um, amount was the budget allocated, allocated to the budget last year? You don't know. They don't know. They don't know. No. If you ask them how much was for national security, yeah. they don't know. Right? Some of them don't even know who's the new commissioner of police. Thank you. Yeah. Now, even if you go and you sit down with them and you get five minutes of their attention and you mm. say, you know the budget last um, time was and I just sure, I just show that figure, yeah. Four point five billion. Mm-hmm. 
heavy. Them do even them them can even fathom four point five billion. billion so yeah. That is far fetched for them. For them, mm -hmm. them not even thinking there. And then you tell them, well, you know, the Ministry of National Security get out of that 4.5 billion. Mm. They get 20 million or 25 million to run their, mm. their, their, um, their thing. Still heavy. It's far fetched for them. Mm -hmm. They want to know. You see when you talk that big number there? Yeah. Here how they seen it. It, it, it start to fall like rain. Mm -hmm. But when it leave up, there's a big drip. Mm -hmm. And then by the time it reach down to them, mm -hmm. it's either the rain wet them or it's sprinkled or no rain at all. At all. Yeah. Right? And that is where it will affect the youth man on the ground. When the rain fall, if it don't fall on one man house, you understand? Mm -hmm. If they don't feel a sprinkle, well, if they get bathed in the rain, then they're happy. Yeah. Right? Because you know they have. If they get sprinkled, they could still survive. But if they know rain falling and... And, and, and no rain and, and no water. Like no the, 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 the more patch with, with the thirsty. Exactly. I mean, then... I want to go back with this. They say we're not politicizing it. And just talking about the layman on the ground who's not into politics. Right? right? We ain't talking politics. We're talking living. Living. Right? You're living now. But you pass through the two, the two yeah. parties. Now, yeah. if you check from 2010 to now, mm -hmm. right, that's, um, that's um, almost 23 to 24 years. That's 24 right. years past. But no, that's 14 years past. Right? Because from 2010 to 2015 was five years, and then there's nine years here. Right? right? So... That is 14 years past. Right. So a child was born in 2010, he's 14 years now, right? He was small when Kamlan was in power. So you don't know who. Let me say, a child who was seven in Kamlan days is yeah. eligible to vote now. Yeah, a child, yeah. A child who was seven in Kamlan days, right. but. But so he'll be. He'll be um, he, 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 will, he will know. He do not have the knowledge, knowledge to know what's going, going on, what went on when he exactly. when Kamlan was in power. Even, only know, even he, if he born, mm -hmm. even. If he was 10 when Kamala came out of power, yeah. he's 19 now. He's 19 now. He's heading into the next general election at 20. That is his first it's vote in power. For power, right? Right, because mm. he didn't get none at 18. Right. He didn't get none at 19. He's mm. going to get his first one at 20. Right. He's not privy to the information. Correct. That, that uh, of what Kamala did. They, they, yeah. They're going to sell him dreams. dreams. They're going to sell him dreams. They're going to sell him dreams. They're going to lie to right? him. Exactly. But even people before his time, who was 15 and 20 years, right, and was is now 30 and 35 years, or 34 years, they are not being sold dreams. No, no, let me, let me, let me tell you what happened there. Mm -hmm. I know I could see it happen, or what, what happened. Mm -hmm. We just, we just opened the whole monopoly and the numbers now. Okay. At, at, at. The child that was, was 10 years in, in Kamala get voted out. get voted out, right? right? Mm -hmm. He's 19. He's 19 now. years now. He's living in a PM house. Right. He have never voted. Right. But he have been for the latter part of his um, life from mm -hmm. 10, where he could from, really understand. Yeah. To 19. To 19 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all he knows is his mother and father, his PNM, and da da da. Mm. And the, 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 you'll, he will hear them saying certain things about the UNC and that Indian woman. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Mm. And he's not going into details. He's just hearing conversation flying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. left, right, and center. The neighbor talking. Yes, one talking. Eh? He's going based yeah. on what's wrong him. What's what wrong him? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. wrong him? He's not even listening to the show. No. Right. What you think is it? What you think would happen? He going for PNM. Thank you, right? And nobody can convince him different. No, nobody can convince him different, because that is what he's been. That, that is what that, that is. Uh, that is what he was embedded yes, in. It is. It is told. It is sold to him mm. indirectly. Indirectly, yeah. He didn't really take it yeah, on from his either. parents and his community. <laughs> right. But he not he not taking it on to say like he he's a diehard PNM or no, nothing like that. No, he's not. He's a just going for because them tell me and from why here from why here. 
That, that them ain't good, so right. I'm going to vote for it. And the mother will wake him up, vote him, and say, make sure and go, go and vote. Yeah, yeah. Make sure and go and vote. Yeah. Remember, we only do plenty for we. we. Yeah. That, and that, he going with that he's narrative. Going with that. Right. He's going to go with that. Not, he, Every young person, for the first time, is in a PNM stronghold, let's go through that. Everybody. 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 Right? Not in a PNM only stronghold. Wake up, you only wake up when you reach out there, yes. working hard, and your it, children to see both, your there, bills to pay. There is where, there is where you start to, you open, your start to open your eyes. You open your eyes because yeah. you're going on mm -hmm. with you now. Mm -hmm. You're living on your own. Yep. Everything that happens and evolves around you now matters. Matters, yes. Mommy cook, mommy I cook, I go eat a little piece of bread, whatever. That doesn't matter. Yeah. But when you're on your own, own now, and you're you 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 budgeting, yeah. You get paid Friday, remember? You remember the first set of times you get paid? Yeah. You get paid Friday and, and by Sunday you have no money. No money, yeah. Because you know why you didn't, you didn't even study so budgeting, the budgeting, right? and all them things, right? Because you, you get paid, by the time you pass, and shoot on your bar pants or jersey or short pants, yeah, 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 shoot yeah, a yeah. home for maybe your family, yeah, or, you, or you, maybe your mother and your brother and them, yeah, because yeah, you yeah. might be still living home. Yeah. You didn't budget. Yeah. By Sunday, you had to fall back on mommy to say, mommy, you get my pass to go to Monday yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you didn't budget. Right? That could have happened then. And that could happen repeatedly mm -hmm. for some years. For some years. Until the day. Right? You move out. You move out. Right. When you move out, it's going to happen still enough. But here now is where. Yeah. Mommy might have been passed away. Yeah. And have no... Nobody. No net. No net. You have no net to catch to you. To catch you. Yeah, so you had to grind. Right. So you had to start to borrow. Yeah. And you this, and you And realize. then you realize, why are you going through here, boy? Oh. You understand? And when things start to be implemented, because the landlord comes and tell you, you know, you rent out of the race because we have to pay property tax. So, yeah, you know, where's this property tax thing? Now you're getting informed. Now you want to know about the country. Now you want to know how come this happened. Not happen. even that. Mm-hmm. You start to make groceries for yourself. Yeah, so you see now. You see now, all right, I, I used to spend 400 in grocery last year. Oh, my year. gosh, you're going to have to sell 100, Thank boy. You. I plan last year, I buy the same yeah, thing. And, and, and you go on and walk and you start to call it your partner. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. tell them, boy, you know where expenses go to Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And taxi, boy, that taxi man, them want to raise the fare, they don't yeah. care. Right, they don't care. Da, 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 da. And then people start to tell you, boy, 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 the government raise the gas, and, da, 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 da. and yeah. now you now start to, to open your mind to politics. Mm -hmm. But that first time you voted, you going vote, just voting, yeah, you just going, going based, on based on influence. My first set of voting every year. I too, me too, you understand? Vote. So you are to understand that you doesn't start to understand or go into politics until you're reaching it almost 30. Yeah. You understand? Or 32, yeah. then you can discern, well, this is making no sense, and that making sense, and this making sense, and that is making sense. And then, and then. And you know, it is deliberately left like that. Right? No political education. No, they will right? not educate you. They, will, they, they deliberately don't educate you on politics. Right? Deliberately, so that you can go and vote blindly for your first three, four you, election. You feel it. When mommy said the other day, and we just laugh at this, mm -hmm. when mommy said she learned politics from Crook. Crook, Cro, yeah. All I take that as a joke. Yeah, but that is serious thing. But I serious thing. Yeah. There were two places, if he was a political guru, mm -hmm. you would learn politics. Politics. Mm -hmm. Skinner's Park, mm -hmm. San Fernando. An intent. No. Where? Or in the square. Woodford Square. Woodford Square. Mm -hmm. Every, if you want to get, you want to be a political person, guru, go Woodford go Square. Woodford Square a long time. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Them is the two places you will hear everything that is not the truth. That is not the, mm -hmm. no, that, that, that is not, that, you will hear everything that you wouldn't hear, right? From, how go put it? All right, this one them politicians come on the pulpit and talk and right. tell you so, 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 and you just used to believe it. Right. You understand? You had to go there to get the truth. To get the truth. You understand? Yeah. This is the places you used to get the truth because they're into the politics and they know that what they're saying, they're like, oh, God, I'm a guy yeah, thing. Yeah. You understand? But the majority of people don't go and do research. They just take whatever the politicians say. When I said is, it wasn't the truth because there is, there is, um, 
Calypsonians in those times mm -hmm. that would actually sing, right, against because they are just politically aligned. No, to right? be honest with you, back in those days, most Calypsonians was never politically aligned, really, you know. It's only now. It's only mostly now. It it it's to get it's it's to bind the calypso. Calypso is where, where you could have go to hear the pikong. Yeah. And most calypso in those days used to attack the people in public office and get and, and say things about them in so order to grow attention to the public. The yeah. mass public as you know. But it's only now. Well, not now, up in the, in the, in the late 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 You know, it's coming up there in thousands, two thousands and things. Caribbean so then started realize well, well, if we sing against we wouldn't get no food. Yeah. You understand? We, we wouldn't make it to, the, wouldn't make it to the big yard. Yeah. You understand? But there are a lot of Caribbean so then sing against the government and make it to the big yard. Chuck, that's and all these other people and people listen to the Caribbean. So. That, that, that there was when the competition was fair and if, not yeah, correct. favorable. That was when politics and, had a dark hand into the Caribbean. And, and, and the leaders wasn't so thin skinned. Correct. Because they used to go in the tent. And hear the calypso and sing about them and laugh. And laugh, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. wasn't so thin skinned. Right? So I hope you guys enjoy our back and forth. Right? Um we are back able and to forth is over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You we, we're not able to take any calls right now. If you want to get play a voice, so I don't know where are they. Where are they? No, 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 no. We have two up. minutes, we have two minutes. We're wrapping up. I could I could just wrap up with this here, heavy. Yeah. The, you see this here? I could wrap up with this. People say so we go until tomorrow. No tomorrow. Till next week. Yeah, yeah. We back yeah, here no, on um, no tomorrow, Tuesday. No tomorrow, we no back tomorrow. here on Tuesday. Yeah, back right? here on Tuesday. Right. So we will not be here on Monday. Nope. Right. But so we'll be we'll here be on Tuesday, here on definitely. Tuesday, right. Okay. So enjoy your Easter weekend. Be safe. Stay cool. And hope to hear you guys. We want to hear you guys come next week Tuesday. Yeah. Keep it up. and changes, let's continue to show that ocean of unity for each other. Let's harmonize that sweet rhythmic sound that comes from deep within, that reflects togetherness, getting back to the issues that